Welcome back, folks. Pretty much all of northeast Kansas right now is under a tornado watch until midnight tonight. We'll take a look at this watch box for you here. We actually do have a severe thunderstorm warning ongoing in Nebraska right now. None right now in Kansas, though. We'll take a look at this line of storms that's developing on our max track radar, and we are tracking a cold front. You can actually see it pretty well defined here on our radar. It's actually showing up on this thin green line right here, getting ready to make its way into Republic County right now. But but this line of storms will actually start to develop further to the south as we head through the next couple of hours and eventually the whole line will track to the south and east as we head throughout the night tonight. The good news is it is a pretty fast moving system. So this is 9.30 p.m. You can see the line starting to take shape and then as we head throughout the night tonight it really does push through rather quickly. This is already at midnight and then as we get closer to 3 a.m. it's already out of northeast Kansas and we will start to clear out rather rapidly as well behind this cold front, leaving us with mostly sunny skies for your Sunday, an absolutely gorgeous day in store for Sunday as well. So we have to get through some pretty nasty weather first, but right now temperatures in Topeka are at 85 degrees. We do have a breezy south-southeast wind in place running about 15 miles per hour right now. But all across northeast Kansas, temperatures are still relatively more warm thanks to those southerly breezes. In the mid to upper 80s for the most part, still just a couple 90 degree temperatures showing up. 90 degrees in Manhattan and 91 degrees in Junction City right now. But we are tracking that cold front. But thank goodness, because we do have some humidity around, and that's making it feel just a little bit hotter with temperatures feeling like they're in the upper 80s to low 90s across northeast Kansas right now. But let me show you what this cold front does for our temperatures. We'll track out your humidity as we go through the next couple of days. So this is tonight at 730, but notice as we start to track the cold front making its way to the south and east, we dry out rather rapidly as we head throughout the night tonight. And then by the time tomorrow afternoon rolls around, we'll be under dry conditions really cool temperatures in fact and just a beautiful next couple of days in store for us. It's going to feel like fall once again at least through today tomorrow and then we'll start to warm up for Monday as well but for tomorrow temperatures only in the upper 70s. 78 degrees in Topeka and Manhattan, 77 degrees in Emporia for tomorrow but like I said we do have to get through some nasty weather tonight before we can get to enjoy this beautiful fall-like weather that we have for tomorrow and then we'll actually get to stay below average as we head throughout next week as well with temperatures only topping out in the upper or low to mid 80s in fact before our next chance for storms comes into the picture by Friday into Saturday of next week so we actually get a nice long stretch of some pretty dry weather after tonight so yeah no kidding yeah, a so a little little blurb tonight though. yeah a pretty active night so I'll be in here tracking that for you as we go through the next few hours but it should move out rather quickly so even by the time you wake up tomorrow morning it'll all be out of our hair and we'll have a gorgeous day for tomorrow so overall should folks be in the basement tonight when they go to bed or should they just kind of play it by ear I think that you should probably play it by ear tonight um, right now there really isn't anything ongoing in Northeast Kansas but that could all change I mean it is Kansas you know mm -hmm. but once this cold <laughs> front moves through your area the severe threat should diminish rather rapidly all right. Thanks, Becky. Well, next.